What's up, YouTubers? I got another website for you for uh, Stanley Myers uh, water fuel cell research. If you wanted to learn even more about Stanley Myers, uh, this website's called uh, www.globalcast.com. It's a G L O B A L K A S T, just like it shows on the screen. And uh, this is what the website looks like if you go to it and uh, go around the website you can click these are videos that you can download uh, but most of these videos are on YouTube uh, especially if you go to Stanley Myers estate videos on YouTube you can find a lot of Stanley Meyer videos I'll click media here and uh, Click on the photos, and it's got different uh, pictures of uh, Stanley Meyer stuff. Um, like this one right here says alternator diagram from Stan's documents. You just double click that, and it brings up a bigger picture. Let me move my camera over here. Try to zoom in here as much as I can. And, well, that's not going to help. Oh, up here it says uh, three phase windings, three coils per phase, uh, connected in series, of which two end coils are uh, bifiller wound and all three coils wrapped in the same direction. Uh, CWFC schematic uh, 10 by 83. Over here it says six diode network printed circuit board affixed to heat sink uh, disc. And uh, over here it says alternator rear housing. Uh, it's just one of the many pictures that's on this website. Um, let's see what else they have here. This is the Stan's gas processor. It shows you uh, all the all the all the detail things here. Air consuming device. So, if you're interested in uh, Stanley Myers and how he made his hydrogen cell and what parts he used and uh, over the schematics and diagrams, you just go to this Globalcast website. This is his fuel uh, water splitter. It was part spark plug and spark. Uh, inlet part for the uh, hydrogen to go in and split and be burned into the cylinder uh, instantly. Uh, right here it's showing the water inlet. This is ionized gas inlet here and they go down and then sprayed into an ionized gas distribution uh, disc it says here and it says water distribution disc. Uh, I guess it sprays it into a mist where it can be burned into as a gas. Um, so his uh, dune buggy it ran on water it didn't just run on water it ran on a multiple of uh, different stuff these are the uh, different uh, waveforms um, I'm not electronic so it, it you know this stuff doesn't really ring anything with me although this looks pretty cool it looks like a little vortexing tornado um, but that was under uh, media. Uh, go back. It was under media. I clicked under photos. Uh, click what other media is here. There's just interviews that were uh, you can listen to. Water fuel museum interview is uh, Stephen Meyer. Uh, that's uh, Stanley's brother. He's actually his twin brother. A lot of people don't know he had a twin brother. Uh, just back click on here uh, you go to projects it shows these uh, diagrams here um, there's a bigger picture of the diagram that, that I downloaded and you can superimpose it scroll it but you can't really read anything on there I don't know these might be 555 five, five thingies here I'm just guessing I don't know I'm not an electrician 
But uh, it's a schematic that's on the on the website. You too can uh, look for yourself. And there's more uh, more pictures here on the website here. Uh, this is post indicator circuit. Uh, this says unfinished. You just double click it, and it shows you uh, what's on that circuit board. Many many pictures. Uh, PL gated pulse generator pulse indicator and res resonant scanning circuit. That's this one down here at the bottom. Just double click that, and that's what that circuit board looks like. So, uh, for people out there making hydrogen cell uh, generators and thinking that's that's all they need, uh, I need to pop your bubble there. You need a lot more than just a fuel generator that makes HHO uh, gas. You need uh, pulse motors, you need the uh, water splitter, you need to know the frequency, uh, you need to know how to mix the ionized gas and um, laser light he used. Click this documentation here and uh, it has all these things here that you can click. Uh, can't really see here, but like for instance, let's read this one oh, right here. This one says hydrogen generator system. If you click it, what happens when you click it? It'll pop up a, a, a well. It downloads to your computer or. If, depending on what uh, web browser you're using, if you use internet browser, Internet Explorer it will pop up a little box here. I'm using Google right now, but uh, I just downloaded it to my computer. But it has all these different, uh, like down here towards the bottom, it says uh, resonance cavity for hydrogen generator, hydrogen generator system, hydrogen aeration injection system. So you know, after researching this uh, Stanley Myers documentations, uh, you realize just how smart the guy was. He really was a genius to figure all this stuff out. And although he does say that you could do this in your garage, uh, yeah, you can do you can do basically anything in your garage if you have the know-how and the technology and the, the money to go out and buy this stuff. Um, that's what happens sometimes when you when you're a genius, you. Uh, seem to think everybody understands what you're saying, what you're doing, and, and, and that's not always true. So he could do it in his garage, but it don't mean every Joe Blow out there can, because after researching all this technology stuff here and seeing that not only do you know have to know how to make the hydrogen, you got to know how to set up an electronic system that can uh, activate the... Uh, laser and pulse with motor and uh, burn the ionized gas and do it all together in one motion with semi conductors and super capacitors and water splitters all, all that stuff is very technical stuff uh, so it's not just like going and getting stainless steel putting in water and it's zapping it with electricity Although that's how you can make hydrogen, but that doesn't mean it's going to make your car run on hydrogen. It's a lot more complicated, a lot more technical than that. Uh, if anybody else tells you otherwise, they're just blowing smoke up their own butt. Uh, so I got these websites I found, and I put them on uh, YouTube so other people who really, really want to learn Stanley Myers' uh, hydrogen power dune buggy, how he did it, you're going to have to do a lot of research, a lot of reading, a lot of testing. Uh, this is here my prototype of Stan's 5-coil VIC transformer. And uh, Double-click that picture. It's not something you're going to do overnight. <clears throat> and to all, uh, all the people out there that are making hydrogen and uh, hooking it to their car and saying their car runs on hydrogen, uh, they're not telling the truth because their cars are still running on gasoline. They're just adding hydrogen to the gasoline. Uh, the only way to make your car run on hydrogen is to make it run 
on hydrogen only, not being assisted with gasoline or diesel or anything like that. But uh, this uh, looks like plastic, two pieces of plastic to me. Also remember one thing, hydrogen, although it's very easy to make and it comes from water, it can be very explosive, can be very dangerous. So if you do attempt to try to make hydrogen in your home, uh, make sure you're in a very ventilated area. Be careful because it's highly explosive. I know I've made two cells myself and blew them up in my house and made a huge mess. So I highly recommend that you do this stuff outside and wear safety glasses when you're doing it because if you find the secret how to make your car run on hydrogen and it blows up in your face you won't be able to drive that car because you won't be able to see so always remember safety first and to uh, learn more about uh, Stanley Myers go to globalcast.com uh, and you can click on these little links up here and you can go over to pictures and uh, research it yourself and that's about it so I'm out of here peace outside